Good morning, Annabelle here in the kitchen again. It's early morning and it's breakfast. Breakfast on a ration, breakfast dishes, breakfast quickies. During the war, the bacon ration was small, so you had to really eke out. So if you wanted bacon for your breakfast, then you had to uh, be sort of very economical with it. Uh, the bacon here in the Netherlands isn't brilliant. They slice it so thin, you can almost see through it. I've asked for it thicker, but they really struggle to do it thicker. So I've ended up buying lardons, which are chopped up fatter bits of bacon. So the first thing I've done is make a batter. That's dead easy. We can all do that. It's the same as pancake batter, but a lot thicker. It's going to be difficult to explain the sort of consistency, but it's a dropping, like a drop scone. I don't know whether you've made it, but it drops. It's not running. It's not running. And the measurements and the weight are all going to be in the cookbook in here, but I'll tell you it all out. It's only small amounts, two ounces of self-raising flour. If you haven't got self-raising, I don't buy self-raising. Haven't bought it for years. I buy plain flour and baking powder. It's exactly the same, but you use, well I do, use more plain flour than I do self-raising. And so you do the two ounces of the self-raising flour, or plain flour, depending on what you've bought. A pinch of salt, dried egg if you want to use it. I do use dried eggs now and again, but one fresh egg would be great. And five, it says tablespoons. I'm sure it did. I haven't used quite that much, probably four tablespoons. I've used milk. You may not have had that amount of spare milk during the war, so you'd have to mix it, milk and water. And all the recipes are out of my wartime cookbooks. There's a box set of three, and this is the post-war kitchen. Obviously, you were still in rationing. So there we are. There are so many options um, to make with this. You can do bacon, mushroom. Don't add too much liquidy things like tomatoes because it would make it a bit sucky. And they're better on the side and par cooked, which I'm about to do because I don't like a raw tomato. So I'm just chopping these up and putting them in the frying pan next to where I'm going to make these lovely little bacon breakfast fritters, or as they call them, breakfast quickie. Come nearer, come nearer. You're miles away. That's better. Oh, superb. So to add to the bacon, I'm going to, I've pre-cooked the bacon and I've already pre-cooked some of the mushrooms. Just in a little pan next to it. You hardly need, there's so much fat in the bacon that, especially with the lardons, let me show you what a lardon is. It's a cut of bacon, it's end bits of bacon. Can you see the fatty bit there? They're great little, little cubes of bacon, so they create their own little bit of fat. I put the tiniest little bit of butter in, tiny bit. So I've had the pan getting warmer, ready for my little fritters, I'm going to add to the batter the bacon and the mushroom which has already been cooked. Now you can add your black peppers and all of that. I haven't got a huge array here so I'm just going to add a little bit of black pepper. Now you can make it spicy, you can add paprika, you could add tarragon. I'm going to leave it plain. That's what I'm doing today. I'm just going to leave it so it's plain. And that's what it looks like, all stirred up. You've got the lumps of the bacon and the mushroom. These do cook very quickly, so you really want any of your additions made already. Making my pot of tea would have been made in a teapot and um, loose, loose tea usually but I can't get what I like here so I've had to opt for the tea bag option. Little milk jug, little tea cup. We're keeping it all simple. 
not complicated. So I'm just about to pop these in here for you to see. So just a, I'm using a, a dessert spoon and I'm just putting one little splodge. I'll show you nearer. You'll come nearer, don't worry. There we are. Come on, Neil. The terminology in these books is lovely. Um, it's still a very important meal in the 1940s. And now that nights disturbed by air raids were over, there was no doubt the young and the old were much more wide awake to the first meal of the day. Ready cooked cereals such as cornflakes um, they were popular, but still struggled to get them. So you could do a sort of a porridge base with the oats. Um, the term muesli hadn't come in then, but there was a Swiss cereal alternative and a Swiss breakfast, which they describe below. Let me tell you, you'll laugh at this. Barley flakes or kernels, milk, grated apple and some sugar. And you mix it all up and that was almost similar to muesli. So they were quite ahead of the time, really. Now with this, you can do cheese, you can do herrings. I know it sounds awful, but I have tried them and it touched me, it is beautiful. Some of the pictures in here, let me show you. This was during the war, pictures in the war. I did actually find a picture of Prince Philip in here. I don't know whether I can find it to hand very quickly. There was a, oh, there we are. It was the Christmas, I think it was to do with the Christmas cake. They're mentioning the Christmas cookbook cake. How amazing is that in my cookbook? But you've got every single possible options of different foods. And some of them are absolutely wonderful. And what you have got on the, uh, I've got another one in the post-war, which is all about the new foods coming in from foreign places, as they put them. So back to these wonderful breakfast quickies. Let's flip them over. Oh, they're looking superb now. You want a bit more. What I do is I push them round in the tomato and the mushroom leftover little liquid. And then you get a bit of a taste to them. There's one that's just escaped. There we are. So, and the other thing you could add in if you wanted, I've got little bits of cheese here, you could add in some cheese. I uh, say so you can do black pepper, salt, or whatever you wanted in there. I've left them plain today. So let me make my pot of tea. I've got my plate ready for them to all go on, and this is gonna be my breakfast today. I'll put it all out for you. I'm in my wartime pinny, well, little cupcakes, little wartime tea dress. And I'm gonna have this keep me uh, my energy up for today. I think they're all done. I think they're all ready to go. Okay, you can do a lot more. You can do less of them. Ooh, that's better. So little fritters with bacon and mushroom in. Ready for a busy day. And I'm just going to put a selection of the mushrooms on. The tomatoes all cooked. Love squidgy tomatoes. I might reserve a bit of black pepper to put on the top. And there we are. There is breakfast on a plate, wartime style, ready to go. Cup of tea, ready to make. And you have a fantastic Tuesday. <laughs>